did I tell you? It was my birthday. I'm gonna, I, I was home last night, so I got my coffee pot. And uh, I'm set with that. Even though there's a Starbucks in there, I'm gonna go get, make some coffee. <laughs> and then I took a little sugar, and then I put about, I, I like to drink my coffee black, but now and then I like a little milk and sugar. I'm in that mood. So I filled up each cup about a third full with milk, it looks like a lot of coffee, but these are little cups. Hey, it's my birthday tomorrow. So I've been carrying those those cookies for like two weeks. And I had a regular pack of Oreos, and I, I ate part of that, and then I took them home, because otherwise I ate the whole pack. My truck's kind of a mess. This uh, tub here. And I put things like snacks in there. It's all a mess over there, because... <laughs> took that little box that my dash cam came in, so this fits perfect. I can put my little notebook right in there, a little Maverick pen, I'm all set. I go get the boats, it's a gravel lot that is pulverized gravel, so it means you track in so much. Did I tell you it was my birthday? The dust thing, I'll work on that. Just about time to go. Looks a little bit old school. I'm up in, uh, I'm at I, 94 about Black River Falls, Wisconsin. Last time I'm stopping before I stop, stop. Wasn't my shirt a different color? What's with these boats? Wasn't I carrying pontoons? Sometimes, I'm not tired or anything, but my butt gets sore sitting in the seat. Kind of goes dead. I don't have a fat enough butt. I hope I can get out of here in the morning. What's gonna matter is if somebody parks in the no parking area. But I'm gonna leave at 5 a.m. Good move. I consider that. I moved. <laughs> There's a the loves I was at is over there across the road. And there's a line of trucks here you can see. And I should I got a straight pull out to those fuel pumps and it's empty over there. So I'm I'm a little more comfortable with that. Um, I don't want my truck getting hit. I don't want my boats getting damaged. It was a really good idea to park there. See, the thing is, I like to park. If you can, you park in a truck stop. The next morning, you can just roll over and get fuel and do your pre-trip. That way, you're starting the day off with full tanks. You know, that's why I, tr I tried, when I know I need fuel, to stop at Loves, a Flying J, or a Pilot. I'm glad I moved. As it was, I got going, and there was another Pilot, or a Flying J, up about 15 or 20 miles, and I just pulled in there. Got fuel right away, took care of it. I didn't lose much time that way, but uh, I think it was safer. Did I tell you it's my birthday? It was nice, my wife called me. Usually I call her, 6.15, that's our time. I'm saying happy birthday to me, which is nice. I'm only about, uh, 10 or 15 miles from my drop here and I'm early. <laughs> That's okay though. They told me to go and uh, park in uh, a parking lot they designated and then call them. So I'll go do that. Looks like it's going to be a great day. Did I tell you it was my birthday? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. When I was five, I invented the wheel. 13, 14, 18, 19. I invented the windshield wiper at 19. 
28, 29, 30. Invented the diesel engine then. 40, 41, 42. That's when I won the Boston Marathon when I was 42. 46, 47, 49. That's when I had my failed run for president. 51, 52, 53. I can't remember what I did then. Eight. 59, I turned 60. 61, 62, it's kind of a blur because I was driving for Maverick through all that. 63, that's how old I am today, 63. You know, there are really good people out here. There's some real jerks too, but this place is like number one. The guy that unloads you is so nice. Um, you know, I mean, helpful. It's just he and I, but it was easier doing it than many places I've gone where they have more than one person helping you. I'm going down to St. Peter, Minnesota, and I'm gonna swap this trailer for a, uh, uh, I'm gonna swap this trailer for a trailer that's hopefully loaded with little power boats, speed boats, little boats with upward motors and take them to Portage, drop it in either Deadhead or get a boat trailer that's there and go to Elkhart and then uh, hopefully get home. See how far I make it today. I'm a long ways away. I had to stop for a load check. I'm on uh, Highway 60, Minnesota 60 in uh, southeastern Minnesota. I've been here before. This is just a beautiful area. Wide open. Check out these uh, soybeans turning. Fields are just uh, unseasonably warm. Well up into the 80s here today. I don't mind. I'm gonna try to, I've only got like four and some change hours I can drive. Um, I'm going to take this back to Portage, leave it there, head to uh, Elkhart and, and get a, a load that's going uh, someplace in Louisiana. So I'll take that home for the weekend. I'll have to fill you in about that later. My coffee's about done though, so I'm going to get it and I got a boogie. Did I tell you it was my birthday? I'm done today. I'm good. I'm in... Uh, this rest area, um, we're 90, 94, and 39 interstates all run together just north of Madison there. I'm only about 200 miles from Portage, so I'll make it. I drove kind of hard, worked hard today. It's my birthday. Did I tell you it was my birthday? I feel real balanced. You know what is uh, peculiar about today, or this time period, is it's, this is the, uh, fall equinox and it's when when the Sun and the equator are lined up so as the Sun is moving south as winter draws in North America it goes by June 22nd it's at the Sun's at the highest point that's the longest day of the year for us up here and then it makes its way south and it goes over the equator and that's what it is now and then around December 22nd it's down at the southernmost point and that's when the days are the shortest but I digress the important thing about today, did I tell you it was my birthday? The sun and the equator lined up. Everything is in perfect balance. You can be balanced much better. Being that I was born on September 21st, it, I was just telling this to my wife the other day. It's why I'm such a balanced person. Think about that.